Okay, today we'll perform inspection of the oil lubrication unit screens. So let's take a look at it. This is lubrication unit for the engine, which means that all oil flow through this unit. Inside you can find a pump, uh, two filters, main filter, backup filter, uh, master chip detector and screens. The screens are basically uh, circular meshes through which the oil flows. So um, uh, the each screen belongs to certain part of the engine. First one belongs to aft sump. What does it mean aft sump? Sump, sump is like a collector of uh, the oil which is coming from the aft section of the engine which means the bidding number five, bidding number four. And then we have a TGB, which is transfer gearbox. And transfer gearbox we can find over here. This, this is transfer gearbox from end to shaft. It transferred energy towards the accessory gearbox, which is here on which you can find all components. Then we have this one, which is a forward sump. That one belongs to forward section of the engine, which means bidding number one, bidding number two, and bidding number three. And the last one collects oil uh, from, the, from the AGB, or accessory gearbox, on which you can find all components. So, all oil, when it returns from the, from the engine, uh, goes through these four subs. And, of course, it collects all debris from that sections. And my inspection, actually, my schedule inspection is to find if there is any debris. And if we find something... Uh, we need to collect uh, those particles. I have a dedicated filter for each. I have dedicated filter for each of uh, those screens. So I will collect the oil inside, and then we see what we find. Okay, the uh, the lock wire or lock cable is removed, and we can proceed with removal of the first one and actually after one so we have two warnings on it one backup one normal okay it's loose and this is aft sump so i'll take a filter for aft sump and let the we'll leave the let the oil flow through it and of course we need to take a look inside if we are not gonna find any particles if yes we're gonna need to uh, check what are those particles and of course then we're gonna send it to laboratory but so far this one is clean but it also our filter looks fine so I will clean it completely and then we'll pull out the second one third and fourth of course now we move to transfer gearbox or TGB good Again, filter for it. Good. Beautiful. There is nothing inside. Nothing in the filter. That's what we want. So again, I'll put it on the side. Mm. 
Then we have a forward sump. Okay, it's loose again. Not a single thing again. And the last one, which is accessory gearbox. Okay. Again, filter for it. Everything looks good. There is nothing inside. So I will clean everything. And yep, then we proceed with the uh, replacement of the o rings and installation of the screens inside. Well, both me and my colleagues, we uh, Let's say confirm that screens are okay, and I can proceed with the uh, installation. So I will now change O-rings on each of them. So old one cut, new one lubricated, of course. Light on. It's the first one, and the second one, and we will continue in this pattern. What is important though is uh, the backup seal, which is over here. It's not allowed to have any sort of damage on those backup seals, so we need to inspect each of them, and if they're damaged, we need to replace them but I already inspect mine and they are all in uh, good condition so we will continue as it is and now we'll go in with the screens first in gently of course you need to go by hand only Last one. Of course, as always, they need to be torqued with a certain torque from you. One. Great. Mandatory cleaning. Okay. Now we need to save the screens with a lock wire or locking cable. It allows us to use locking cable on those screens. So this is actually much easier than lock wire but you are not allowed to use those locking cables on everything so you always need to refer to AMM if you are allowed or not to use it use them but I really like to use them because it's much much easier and faster to safety something with this device okay. so, add some force
great. Holds loose, loose. There was one. Now the second one. Okay. There. Here. Hopefully you see something. There it is. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the last part and you can then inspect it. Duplicate inspection has been performed. The secure cable is on the place on all four screens. Uh, all that's remaining is leak check. So we can close the fan coils and uh, we need to perform manual says minimum idle. So we need to start the engine. So let's do that. As always during run-up we need to monitor all parameters but especially oil quantity and oil pressure since I worked on the oil Welcome system. <laughs> As you can see oil pressure is slowly raising and oil quantity is slowly dropping down. The reason behind this that oil pump which is part of lubrication unit start to work since it's installed on accessory gearbox. The same gearbox which is at the moment driven by starter and later on will be driven by engine itself. And thanks to that, oil is distributed between all components and whenever we reach idle, the oil quantity should stabilize. Okay, we perform leak check and as you can see, there is not a single drop, which means that our job is done. Okay, this is uh, all about uh, screens on uh, lubrication unit of this CFM56-5B. If you have any questions, as always, please write them down in the comments below. Also, as always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for the maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto. And I will see you next one. Bye.